Okay, a quick little video to show you the LEDs on Itty Bitty. You unlock the car and you have your LED lights all in the back above the license plate and the tail lights and also in the backup lights. And we also have, I'm going to reach in here and turn this on. I switched it off automatic because I didn't want it to come on just now. But we also have the inside light, which is LED, and it really brightens up the interior. I mean very bright. You could actually read by it. So I'm going to open this door and turn this off, open up the glove box, and you can see the glove box has LEDs inside it. Um, now what I'm going to do is put the key in it, just give it a little twist like that, walk over here, and you can see the switch right here. It's actually right on top of the air conditioning duct. I'm going to hit that switch, and that turns on all the red lights inside. So switch off, switch on. There's lights underneath the dash. There's LEDs. That's actually <laughs> that's actually the armrest. There's LEDs put in it. We walk outside, open the trunk, and we have LEDs on the trunk lid itself. So there's the running lights, I call it, they look like landing strip lights. Those are the lights there for the uh, the deck. Whenever you open the deck, it lights up the trunk. This is red LEDs on the trunk, inside trunk lid that light up the inside of the boot when you're going down the road. And there's the cabin all lit up. And when you turn the running lights on, like that, close the door, then we have side running lights can't see it it's dark of course but those are actually right by the turn signal so you can turn the turn signal on and which I will and we actually put LEDs right in the turn signal itself so it still brightens up it still blinks and there's a little trail going down the side so you actually see a little side running light action which is kind of nice I like this little car to be as visible as I can the LED, the blue light there that shoots up and makes this area up here glow blue. That's a subwoofer, um, JBL subwoofer control. You can turn the subwoofer down or up. And speaking of the subwoofer, I'm going to turn this music on see what I got here. So we have a subwoofer underneath the glove box, an 8 inch JBL subwoofer underneath the, glo the glove box, bolted to the frame. In the doors, we have eight eight-inch uh, in the bottom of the doors and tweeters up by the mirror. And in the back, if I take out this custom luggage rack, you can see the uh, stereo speakers right back there. And there's another speaker right over there. And this box with the blue light glowing, that's a Polk Audio amplifier. So. You can imagine the sound that comes out of that. So we have subwoofer, two tweeters, actually four tweeters and four eight inch. Let me I wish you could feel the car when it shakes. We also have underneath the door handle, which you can barely see here. That's the door handle, and there's LEDs right in the handle itself. So where I, when I open the handle, it shines a light all through the car. And then down underneath the map compartment are three LEDs that shine down in the compartment. As you can see across the way, you can see the, the map compartment, and you can see the handles glowing. So, when we were down in Kansas City for the Nationals, I pulled in and cranked her up. Turned all the lights on. And we had a little party. Kind of hard to get all this. When it's dark, you need, it needs to be dark so you can see the lights. Yet when it's dark, you can't see the rest of the car. But uh, in any case, there's a lot going on there. A lot of red. You're going down the road. So that's it.
Adios.